Hello, hello everyone. Uh, yes, the sound it's 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 on. <laughs> so let me just put this right here. Okay. Olá pessoal, bem-vindos, comprometido, cá estou eu outra vez para mais um vídeo. Uh, hoje vou continuar uh, aqui de volta do meu uh, omnibus da B-Type da Mini Art. Uh, é esta coisinha que vocês conseguem ver aqui, desculpem lá as luzes, mas pronto. Vou continuar, já tenho aqui algum andamento nisto. Uh, lá por aqui de lado. Portanto, já tenho aqui o chassi feito. E já tenho aqui alguma parte atrás da, da transmissão. So, hello guys, uh, welcome back to another video. And this video, is, of course, it's going to be in English. Uh, <coughs> any questions, just put there on the, the comments. And uh, yes, let's start building this, uh, continue to, to build this one. So, uh, I see uh, some part here. Where are these instructions? If you have uh, made this, you can tell me something. Uh, everything is okay. Uh, I have this step, the sixth step, I think you can see, is this piece right here. There I made it. <coughs> but I don't see where it's going to be. So I'm going to go later. And I have now these two pieces, right on the 16th step, and it's different. Uh, hola, Martin. Bienvenido. <coughs> Sakish. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? And I'm going to start making all this, and then I will see where it's going to be, the pieces. So, uh, with this kind of build, you can see the mistakes I do on the building. And it's good because you are going to know what not to do. And it's, and it's more easier when you are doing the things, okay? So, uh, the step I have right now is to put this piece right here on the back. Okay, so sometimes when we have, have some doubts, just go and see more. Uh, oh, you see, I was talking about the piece. Here it is, the piece <coughs> to be later. Okay, much, 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 much later. All right, and the other ones, I think, not these ones. So when they put this, they have a name, I uh, have a number, the 16, and you just go further and see where it goes. So, yeah, I think it's going to be nice. Hello, greetings for Ireland too. Uh, glad to see you here, my friend. So, let's put this one and the glue, of course, sometimes uh, ask me the glues I use. I use this glue from Amo and I like it a lot. Uh, <clears throat> this is a very strong glue. Okay, you can see here my mat. It's all uh, these squares. It loose because I drop some uh, glue on this, and that's why I have this base. Uh, it made by a friend of mine, Andrea, and it's good because you can. And it's more difficult to go and drop all of this. <laughs> it's not so good. So let me open and let's start this again. So this is going to be, let me see, what about this? You have here some points of contact I need for these my glasses. You see, using the glasses. So the it's not easy with age, my friends. Okay, we yeah, added you know, all the pieces. It's going to be like this. And uh, let me see. This is going to be right there. And first use the dry fit to see if it's okay. And it's good. So 
I'm just going to put some glue here, just a little bit. And let's go and put this on. Now I must align this nicely. This side it's good. Now I'm going and reinforce a little more. And okay, so now let's put this to dry. Okay, next steps. This is the, the, the piece uh, I talk about. I got here the Ace Pro. I think this is the big one. Not this one. Nope, not this one. This one. Yeah. This Pro. So let's grab that pieces. Uh, it's the 45 and the 15. 15 is right here. One and now the forty five. It's right here. Okay. Hello, Leos. How are you? A big thumb to you to my friends. So now the worst part is these little things to work. So I advise you guys to have two different X knives. I, I got the same, the Tamiya, the two, but I have a good uh, blade on this, uh, brand new, and I have this one. You can see it's it's a little beaded, and this one it's new. The new. I used to cut uh, and scrape all the nice things and this one I use this blade for the photo edge parts so if I I do not destroy a new one okay so it's better this so the first thing I do I grab this and very careful let's see if it's not going to broke and yeah this is a very delicate piece so I'm just going to try and remove it's going to if you see uh, the piece it's going to break it's easy so I got here a little weak on the piece because it's very really good what I do is grab a little glue and it's going to make this a little strong let me see how oh, this one, this one it's not so bad. So there is no big things for uh, to cut to file this. Let's just go smooth a little and it's good. So now let's put these pieces I got one you have a little thing like this and the, the other it's have a little angle and this one it's a straight one so this two it's going to glue like that okay so little glue there And this is going to be on the top of this. Okay, it's not gluing. It's not gluing. Okay, let's put some more. Just be careful because of the print marks. We don't want print marks on this. Okay. 
you see it's difficult this is the part where you don't see on the building of the videos so if I can grab this one here now I'm going to put here here and just go like this so it's done let's put this away and we are going to see later where I'm going to use this Guy Garrett, morning to you my friend Bonnie Sabrino, how are you? You can speak Spanish <laughs> Puedes hablar y, y escribir en español Que te entiendo muy bien No hay, no hay problema ni yo Bueno Now let's go to the other step You see, I start talking Spanish Very easy So we got here the um, 18th step we are going to need all these pieces this is from the BC let's search the BC this is DBA yeah, not from Southern Fortune uh, BC this is the one so the 7th and the 5 and the 6 okay it's all I think it's all yeah this pieces it's much easier to file When you are cutting, it's important you to move the the, the sprue and move the the cutter or the plier. So let's inspect this. So we got just a little here to file. And this side too. So I, I like to use this to me a cutter uh, because it's fantastic. I when I make the cut, it's always, almost always clean, so it helps a lot my work. Okay, receiving message. So now it's time to glue these pieces. So this one like this. This one it's going to be like this and this one it's going to be on the top. So now I'm just going to put some glue around here. Grab the tweezer. And now I go with more gloom. Then now this one, let me see. Yep. And all, all good. So here it is. Now another pieces. Let me see. Just here. Okay. Now this is going to be. We put this like we see on the photo. You can see. And it's going to enter there. Let me see in advance so sometimes we see where it's going to be but if you don't have uh, let me see so this is where I spend lots of time 
Okay, this is blank. We go here to see if I see um, another photo. It's going to be. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, it's right there. So this is going to be on the angle like this, and it's going to be there. So that's the first one. <coughs> so now I add the tweezer. So, <clears throat> I like this. Let me put a little more glue right there. And it's done. Okay, <clears throat> now we got here uh, on these pieces. This one is going to be photo wedge parts. This photo wedge part, so let me grab first uh, the PC. It's here on the A2, it's the big one. So, this is the one A31, yeah. Olá, Elder, tudo bem? Um grande abraço. So now let's file this, remove the excess of the marks of the cat. And we got this one here. Good to go. Now, let me see. First, we got here uh, some photo wedge. Let's see where I have put the photo wedge parts. It's right here. Okay, so let's open this. One thing it's good on the photo edge from Miniart, they put a layer of a clear film to protect this. Let's open this. And let's open this one too. Nice. So this one's it's the seventeenth. Okay, this one. So like I told you earlier, I'm going to use the other, all right, the other um, cutter for cut this ones. Okay, now let's save this one. So let's try not to lose these little things. 
All right, now for gluing this. There are many questions about this. Hola, Nuno, tudo bem? Grande abraço. Uh, they have lots of questions how to glue these ones. Of course, you are not going to use any glue like this or Tamiya. Uh, you can go with um, with um, wood glue, but it's not so good. You have uh, the new glue from Amo. It's really nice, but I like to use this. I I'm sorry, the, the missing the label. This is from Call 21. And I love this glue because you put it and you can glue it very easy. So let me just grab some where I put it. I must have somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Here. Okay, it's right there. Sorry guys, just a little. If you hear something drop. It's my stuff. So I just grab something like this and I'm going to put a little drop right there. Just this little one. Okay, it's good because this uh, well, uh, call 21 it stays lots of time about uh, 15 to 20 minutes fresh and you can use it more than one time okay so you are going to save a lot of this so we got this image that we are going to put on this one and we got here let me see it's going to be on on the bottom right there so just a little glue there and there well, let's grab the tweezer And the good thing of this, this is a slow glue. You can work. Okay, it's giving me a fight. I am not using my lens, I'm using just the glasses. Almost okay. Now just a little more on the top. It's done. Now let's go to the other side. Okay, just a little touch there. So now I can put this away. And uh, we have this one below. Okay. Hola Marquito, como é que estás? Tudo bem? So, now, uh, this one is going to be, let me see, uh, like this. And of course, the first thing you need to do is the dry fit. Okay, secure it nice. Again. Jumper. Okay. 
just need here pretty file little uh, let's put okay so glue I make a little pressure, I'll make this little band for this to grab and melt nice. Okay, just a little for the front. And let's correct here the angle. Okay, let's put that away. So, we do this part and you can see here for the motor we have here all uh, the lengths of the wire to put. But because I'm going to close my... I am going to have all this closed so I'm not going to put any cables because you don't see, okay, because it's closed. So simple as that. So now let's go and work on the radi radiator, right? Let's make some smoke. Yeah, for the cam. Do it one. <laughs> so for this, we are going to need the G sprue. Okay, we are going to need some photo edge parts to glue. Okay. Nice. So the G1. So let's grab the G1. Let me see if I see. No, this is the G1. And let me see again here. The big pieces are the A, okay? The big pieces right here, so let's just cut uh, first the big ones. Okay, 54, 53. So these ones, right here. Okay, there. So let me send this before because normally I forgot to cut so many pieces and I forgot all the ones. Good. Now, <clears throat> before I crack my head, we go here and we can see what we are going to need. G A G A G A all this J less that one. So the G A it's these little guys here. This one, just one. So it's just a little sprue. Uh, 
What the hell? Well, I have this one. So this is the big one. GD. And this is... Okay, here it is. This one, guys. Right, so now we got this one. This one it's going to be here. Okay, we got here the points and points. Okay, it's equal, and this one it's all equal. So this is one for here. <coughs> so it's, this is going to be from the bottom, and this for the top. Yeah. Then we are going to have the sides <coughs> and the other one. So let's get G5 for this one. This is right here. Now G6. Okay, so let's put this first together. So we use the file. going to be like this yeah and this piece for this side so see the schematic and it helps a lot yeah I'm a little gentle because I don't want to lose any of the details okay So this is going to be the top, it's going to be something, okay, always try the dry fit for to see if it all went nice or not, if not, there is something you are not, you are doing wrong. have this big cap well, let's see first the bottom okay it's going to be like this much easier like this you get your center point in the middle and you can see these bolts it's out <laughs> Olá Carlos, tudo bem? Grande abraço é verdade, às vezes é às vezes chamo um trabalho de irritação This is going to be like this. So let's put some glue because this is so thin, it enters so nice, so nice, so nice. And when you put the glue, it helps a lot to melt and mold 
and normally I fill all the gaps and I don't need any putty because I must have patience doing this okay now I think this is going to enter nice So this one it's giving me a little more fight. Okay, nice. All good. Really nice, no print marks. So fantastic. Okay, now let's grab the, the sides, G3, so we need to see how it's going to be, it's going to be like this, I am working with this ones. see here the photo, this G3 is from that side. Right. We got here some little detail there, so let's get more careful. This side, let's file this one. Okay, okay. You know, just the top there, G8. This one. Now very gentle. Don't want to lose the shape. All right, now we are ready for the other piece. Yes, much more. <laughs> so, like this. Okay. Dry feet first. Okay. I think it swings. Nice or not? We got this groove here, and we want this to enter that groove. Okay, it's good.
Now <clears throat> the other side. Okay, like this. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we got this done. Now oh, let me see. We got a GER, so I'm just going to wrap these first ones. Two four, it's all equal. Good. Whoa, big blob here. Big blob. So <clears throat> now let's see how it goes. We get uh, okay, first let me put this on top. So it's there. So this is the way. Or this way. Like this. Okay. Now let me just put a little pressure there. Oh yeah, no gaps. Nice. Okay, this is going to be just a dry fit, it's good. And let's flip this. So it's very important to see the dry fit of this, it's good. Just put too much glue on this one, so let's remove the excess. Okay, and now let's put this to dry. We are going to need the G1, and this is going to be a very, 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 very little piece. This I can work nice.
and this one. Olá Carlos Lopes, tudo bem? Now let's put this together. So behave in a Okay, one is going to be for more long and other more short. Right. Now this is going to be here. Damn it. Nope. It's going to give struggle a little bit, guys. <laughs> oh my god. You see this is the parts we cut on the on the videos. And you guys think so? Oh, this guy is so good. <coughs> he puts all in the first time. Nope. How careful. Okay, now the cap, uh, open position, okay, it's going to be like this, a little blue, and it's there, so, okay. So I do all these ones, I don't forget nothing, I think. Nope. I am trying to understand if I'm going to put the photo edge first, or I put the radiator first on the chassis and then I put the photo edge. Because we have this piece is going to be there and it's going to be somewhere here so if I go with the radiator yeah. we need first dead pieces then later I will put the photo wedge on these ones okay it's much better to do like this because you know it's going to be all square it's very important that it's uh, to be all square <coughs> so 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 let's grab this ed so i think i don't know it's this one no this is the ba bc this one maybe yeah, these ones. Careful. Okay, struggling, struggling. Little ones, of course, for help. 
ID nine. Okay, this is going to be a square lens. One. So this is a little time consuming, but at the end we got a really, really awesome model. I saw the video on YouTube a few months uh, made by Andy, Andy at headquarters, and he makes the London version, and it was really, really nice. I got that version too to make, but. First military, you know guys I like military things. Now yeah, we got here a point there where it's going, you see? And that we got here the same thing. And this is going to be let me see if like this the position okay it's outside Okay, now let's go to the other side. This, some glue. Now it's still fresh. Let's go. Okay, this is not good yet. Just wait a little on this to dry better, okay? So just wait a little. Let me to drink some water, guys. So when this dry, uh, let me talk about. Another model, I have uh, lots of time to work on them and it's almost complete. Uh, it's going to show you. Let me grab here this brush, this fan brush, and I got here this kit too. Let me show you. 
add a whippet uh, from Tekun 135. So I have this lot of time ready to go and painting. I still have, you can see, lots of dust. Then I dust this one. So I will do a version I like from this one from Germany. And it's, I'm going to show you guys. And it's, we got on this kit a lot of version we can do okay I was looking for this one okay because I like these stripes and if you guys don't know why these stripes uh, this stripe it's uh, because these things when it go from one side to the other normally the Germans capture paint it in another way and then they strikes again to the British and what did the British do uh, when they have the plane in the air they I don't really I don't know if you remember they drop the bombs uh, on the basket they have they drop the bombs to the ground and these stripes helps the pilots uh, the British pilots to know uh, this one is for the, the English uh, it's English tank, okay? So they don't drop bombs on with these marks or these marks in the first ones they do uh, on the sides, all right? So this is one of the things they have uh, these stripes on the first models. They don't put nothing of that, okay? Sorry about smoking, but I want to smoke. Normally when I don't have this camera, this front camera, you don't see me smoking, okay? Now we got here, I have two versions of the German and we got this one, I like a lot this one too from uh, Russian uh, but I'm going to do this one. This one it's a very um, uh, it's a color, different color. The color on this one, it's the um, where it is, the gray eye light. So you can see it's a very shine, um, a very shine color. And this for color modulation is fantastic. Uh, the color modulation, it's easy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do this live, and then you can see on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to use to paint while I have in primary with all in black. And then I go with a primer, very diluted, uh, with um, of course with uh, the thinner, and I just go and make the panels. Then I will use, uh, like I always like to use a transpirator. Transpirator is fantastic because you put the colors very, very, very uh, transparent, and when we are constructing the the color on the top you can see all the work we do with the black and the white the black and white it's a lovely technique i got here uh, somewhere all right i got here the set oops uh from amo this set it's really really nice and you can see we do all this work to get this this all different uh, shades and highlights from the tank and if you have this one uh, they send you uh, this step by step uh, really easy to make and we can see our um, the mix we want to do and all the step okay Step two, step three, step four, step five, and you can see in the later we got uh, like all these results. So it's really nice uh, to to have this. And so I'm going to paint this uh, maybe tomorrow or Friday. I really don't know. Uh, it's like. I always say it's about my mood. Uh, I have the mood to paint this, uh, but I want to to work fast on this 
omnibus because I want to paint this one and this one it's going to be with a khaki color and it's going to have the same modulation color on this so it's going to be all black then the white and then the real color there and normally I grab later a little more of the the color uh, and then I put some white and I think and I put more I like there I like to put my models very very high the color okay with the highlights very high because when I go with the, the oils and uh, to make the weathering make the filters uh, it's going to be more dark <clears throat> if we put more things on the top of the of the paint it's going to be more dark that is a big problem um, some of you guys have because you paint the right colors and then we go to do with the weathering and that time you see it's going to be a model a dark model so paint a little more uh, with highlights okay so so far guys you are very 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 quiet so expect that tomorrow or maybe uh, on Friday so let's see if this now okay nice and let me see if I get okay Okay, you see, I put the glue because the angle it's not correct. When I put the first time I saw it, it's not the correct angle for this. Now I can go. So the first thing I'm going to do is put glue right there and push the pipe there to glue then I will correct all of this okay, because I have time to correct <coughs> I just wait a little Again, all right. I'm struggling is to go in the right position I have to throw about this handle I don't like here oh, it's going Almost there. So now let's try and put some glue and try to start dissolving this matter. Yeah. 
we are almost there. Now let's try to correct this angle. Okay, so now just rest this one and we're done. So I'm going later and put the photo wedge. The photo wedge is going to correct all the position. I need it. So we got lots of work so this one is it's a very complicated to put to put there okay it's not complicated it's uh, but it's boring you guys to to see so i will do this um, uh, out of the video and then when i will start making all the wheels and start putting all together you are going to see okay so it's late. I hope you guys enjoyed the today video. Uh, it's really simple. It's like I said, um, mostly every day now I'm going to make the videos, and you can see I post on YouTube, and you can see on YouTube too. Uh, yep, tomorrow I will go almost sure with the whippet, and you can see all the paint work there. And it's really easy, it's a very simple way uh, to do that and uh, just go with a very thin uh, mix because if you make any mistake it's really 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 easy to, to correct that mistake, okay? So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching and I catch you up tomorrow. Pessoal, Uh, gostei de ver vocês aqui mais uma vez uh, não se esqueçam, vão fazendo as perguntas eu hoje já dei algumas perguntas que me fizeram uh, ontem à parte portanto, amanhã irei responder irei começar a fazer o que eu fazia uh, quando vocês têm alguma alguma dúvida eu depois vou respondendo no vídeo a seguir ou no passado um dia, ou passado dois dias ok? So guys, if you have questions I have uh, lots of questions from other guys and tomorrow I will answer and show Uh, all to correct some some things okay so guys see you tomorrow and i'll catch you up on the next video bye